Welcome to Playing with Junk. Today I want to show you uh, where I got all my stuff from because there have been some comments uh, asking me where do you always get all these machines from? Well, for example, this shipment here uh, I got one day before Christmas. It's my Christmas present. It consists of 10 C7000 uh, blade centers. There are two more. Then uh, two uh, blade center H from IBM. That's from one big customer back because they cleaned up their data center. I don't know why they kicked out. So um, this is our junk bin on the ramp. That's where all the hardware is going to be recycled. We have a lot of bins here. It's uh, more or less empty now because it has been uh, collected recently. This is in our basement. You see there are some big IBM mainframe computers. They are still used as uh, spare part uh, donators. And who knows, maybe sooner or later, they are stars in one of my videos. Well, I think for this set 10 here, I have to wait a little bit. It certainly will be used for a couple of years more, but that doesn't stop us from taking a look inside. So what we have here are the two uh, console laptops. They are used to uh, start the machine up, to uh, install some firmware and updates and checking if everything is all, all right. We have two of those. They are normal IBM ThinkPad laptops connected through the Ethernet port. I'm just trying to open that with one hand. That's the second one. Then you can uh, slide the entire uh, drawer here to the side to get access to all the parts. On the top we have the power supplies, DC 350 volts, somewhere about that. It's the DC bus that goes to the different modules, to the CPUs. They have their own DC converters. Here you see some I.O. Uh, cards. Fiber channel, Ethernet, whatever you want. There are more I.O. cards and of course the big power plug. And on the other side of the cabinet it looks almost identical, power supplies. And the two boxes below here are the, the books, the CPU and memory modules. You see there is some more space for more uh, CPUs. It's only a minimum configuration here. And another power cord for redundancy, of course. Here we have... Uh, uh, system storage DS8800, also from IBM. That's a big disk storage, fiber channel connected. All the disks are uh, removed. I think we got it back from a customer who wanted to keep his data. Data security is always a, a big concern. Power supplies battery packs here, six, nine battery packs, and of course a lot of cooling on the side. That machine makes also a lot of noise. Then we have some storage tech, big tape libraries, magnetic tape libraries. Let's have a look inside that. It's not always so easy to open them up with only one hand. As you see, I'm holding the camera with the other hand. 
a little bit of power input, a little bit of, I don't know, and the other side is a little bit in, more interesting. There is where the, the robot arm is and where all the magnetic tape cassettes are stored. Here inside the door is the mail slot that can be accessed from outside to remove or insert some new uh, cassettes. Then we have storage all around with uh, this rotating arm here. That rotates around and picks, and it also moves up and down and then picks all the cassettes you need to read or write on. That's the picker that slides in and out and feeds the cassette to the drives. There are a little bit lower located. Uh, this is an old IBM system. We have here four uh, cassette uh, drives, magnetic uh, backup drives. Uh, that's a very old, I think it's somewhere from the 1990s. I may be wrong, I don't have much information. In fact, that's the drive itself here. Uh, the robot part is missing. It's. I think it's in an other uh, cabinet. There's another uh, IBM disk storage with a big emergency uh, switch behind this protective cover. Uh, here the disks are all uh, inside. They are not very big. Uh, they are only 18 gigabytes, or should I say gigabytes, because it's more funny. And by the way, Doc Brown from uh, Back to the Future also calls it the gigawatt, so I think that must be right. You can see it's still the more than one inch, one and a quarter inch thick drive, 18 gigs. October 99, that's the manufacturing date. And uh, yes, today you would store this, all the data here on a single uh, hard disk with, I don't know, terabyte, two terabytes. Well, I think we, we don't even get a terabyte from this huge machine here. Then we have some funny uh, blowers here in the uh, in the in the storage. Don't touch it; it's dangerous to your fingers. Yes, that's right. You can be hurt from these things. And there is some other stuff: some old HP servers, old deck uh, disk drives. That's a Blade BL six eighty five generation seven. I got 41 of these servers. Each one has 256 gigabytes of RAM. Each has four CPUs with eight cores. That makes in total something about 1,300 cores and 10 point something terabytes of RAM. And that's what I got just in the week before Christmas. Well, thanks for watching. That's what I do.